So when people think of fat tissue, we typically just think of fat as this inert storage depot, basically a fat cell that is just pulling in fat or a glucose and turning it to fat and then just holding on to it, just storing energy. And then when the body needs the energy, like for example, when insulin is low, now it can start to release the energy to be burned by the muscles, for example. And, and that, that is true. That is typical body fat kind of acts just like I described. But, but once again, it is totally at the, at the whims of insulin. When insulin is up, the fat cell is pulling in energy to store. When insulin is down, it is giving up its energy to be used. However, uh, there is a type of fat in our body called brown fat that is, does not behave the same way. Now, firstly, the differences are obvious, and I do mean obvious. You can, when we do these kinds of studies in animals, you can see the actual difference, and the same thing goes with humans, in the color and appearance of the fat. Normal fat tissue, like the fat that we pull from our, like in my lab, we do what's called fat biopsies, and we pull a little piece of fat from right by the belly button, that is very kind of whitish, yellowish fat. Just like you think when you look at a steak or the fat in, our, in the meat that we eat, it's, it's white. Mm -hmm. Brown fat is much more enriched with mitochondria. And so these brown fat cells are involved in breaking down nutrients, burning energy, but not because the cell needs the energy. In other words, it's not because the person's exercising a lot that the brown fat cells are burning through so much fat and glucose. No, in, in, it's in fact a very wasteful process, although metabolically that becomes an advantage in our environment. But the brown fat is burning fat and glucose just to create heat. If we can kind of hijack our brown fat cells to be more active or of we can help our white fat cells act a little more like brown fat cells, it's this process known as beijing, then we have a higher metabolic rate. These fat cells suddenly stop just storing energy and now they just start burning it just to, be, just to increase body heat, body temperature. And one of the ways we can kind of hack that process of converting our white fat into brown fat, one is through just cold exposure. You can sit in 18 mm. degrees Celsius water, which is not very pleasant. <laughs> um, or you can increase your ketones. When a human is in ketosis, the metabolic rate in their fat cells goes up about two or three times. Hmm. likely because it's shifting its profile. It's going from this very low metabolic rate, typical white fat cell to this much higher metabolic rate, brown fat cell. So that's something we can exploit just by manipulating our diet. DoctorsToTrust.com, world's number one site for short, annotated nutrition videos designed to share with loved ones.